Yo, what is up everybody? It's Jack here. I'm a Shopify developer here at Section Store. And today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add hotspot sections like these ones here to any theme in just a couple of minutes with no coding or app subscription. So these hotspot sections are really cool. You might have seen these on an e-commerce website before. They have these little hotspots that hover over the image where you can click on them to see the product. They give this theme the super premium interactive feeling and they're really great at converting customers. A lot of people always ask me about these sections and ask how they can implement them. And historically, it's been really difficult to make these. Even though they might look quite simple, the coding that goes into making something like this, linking to the product, having it show up correctly, etc., is quite a lot. And so you end up spending a lot of money on developers just for a section like this. And so we've come up for a solution to this problem, and I'm going to show you how you can add this exact section and customize it to your products, to your theme today in two minutes. To do this, I'm going to be using the Section Store app. Section Store is a component library of over 500 different theme sections that plug into any Shopify theme directly from the app with no coding. Today I'll be using the section Hotspots 11, and if we click into it for some more information, you can see it's a one-time charge of only $9, but it's never occurring, unlike a lot of apps. So once you purchase the section, you own it forever, and you can use it in as many themes as you want within your Shopify admin. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase this section, and it's going to show up here under My Sections. As you can see, we have Hotspots 11. I'm going to hit Add to Theme. I'm going to choose the theme I want to add it to, and I'm going to install it here in one click. Now the section's added to the theme, I'm going to head to the theme editor, find the page that I want to install it on, hit Add Section, search for Hotspots 11. Find the section and add it to the theme, just like a regular Shopify section. At the top of the page, here's an example that I set up earlier. So to start customizing the section, we're going to click on the overall section name. This is going to show us the overall section settings here on the right hand side. You can see we've got a ton of settings, so these are all super customizable. You want to start at the top here with these layout settings. So we have image placement on the left or the right hand side, and then again the same setting for mobile if you want it on the top or the bottom. We then have gap for desktop and mobile, so the space in the middle here. Moving down we have content settings, so the alignment if you want the content aligned to the left and the middle or on the right hand side and how you want it aligned vertically as well. Next we move down to the image settings, so this is the image that's going to display here, so this would be an image of somebody using your product or an image with your product in it. You can set the width for the image, the roundness, the border thickness and an aspect ratio, so if you want the square, portrait etc. The next set of settings are the hotspot settings, so this is this little plus icon here. We can change the size for both desktop and mobile, and this is one thing I really love about these setting sections, is there's a setting for almost everything for desktop and mobile, so you can completely customize the experience depending on which device the customer is viewing from. Moving down, we have the hotspot content, so this information here. We have padding, horizontal for desktop and mobile, vertical padding, roundness and border thickness, so a lot of styling options, so you can adjust this so it's looking just right for your brand. The next set of settings are the product image. So the image here, you can see I've got a roundness of 8 pixels on the corners to give it this rounded look. I don't have a border at the moment and it's a square image, but you can change this if you want landscape, portrait, or the original size of the image. Next we have the product title. So this title here, you can pick a custom font. You can change the font size on desktop and mobile and set the line height. Next set of settings is product description, so the description of the product here. Again, custom font, sizes for desktop and mobile, line height options, and margin for desktop and mobile as well. Much the same here, we have the product price, so choose a custom font, change the sizes on desktop and mobile, line height, margin, and all of the other styling settings that you need. We have the show compare at price option if you want to show that it's on sale. If you just want to show one price, you can turn this off. Moving down, we have product link, so this is this little shop text here, so you can customize the text, again the font, the size of desktop and mobile, and the line height, and this is what the customer can click on to be redirected to the product page to actually purchase the product. Moving down, we have settings for the collapsible rows, so these are these tabs on the left hand side here, kind of like an FAQ section. Again, padding for desktop and mobile, horizontal and vertical, we have border thickness, margin, open by default, and overall just again, a lot of styling settings, so you can adjust this so it fits with the rest of your theme. Much the same thing for the heading settings, you can have a custom heading with a custom font, change the sizes, the line height, etc. Next we have the icon settings, so if you want to change the size of the icon on both desktop or mobile, and then we can move down to the overall body text of the section. So this is the same thing, add a custom font, again change it on desktop or mobile, adjust the line height for all of this text and information here. Finally, like a regular Shopify section, we have colors at the bottom of the overall section settings. So as you can see, there's a color setting for everything, so you can go through here and update these all to your brand colors, to the way that you've designed this, or just to what you think looks good, so you can get this matching just right, colored with the rest of your theme. 
Once you've updated all the colors, we have a few more settings down the bottom. So these are overall section settings. So the margin outside, how much space you want around the outside of the section, if any, padding on the inside. So if you want padding here between the image and the side of the section, and then we have full width options. So how wide you want this section to display on bigger monitors. Once you've made all these overall section customizations, we can head back over here to the left hand side and we're going to start customizing the individual blocks that make up the section. So the first one here is going to be our title. So as you can see, you can completely customize the title text, again add a custom font, apply all these styling options including color. Next we have these three tabs for collapsible rows, so these are these three tabs here that the customers can interact with. If you only wanted one or two, for example, you can always delete these from the theme or just hide them, but the option is there to have three or more. So clicking into the first one, which is this one here, Muscle Recovery, as you can see, we can add a heading with custom text and then row content. So all of the information that shows up here in the section and the styling of this, like the color, the font size, etc., is managed by those overall section settings that we just looked at previously. You would repeat this process three times if you want the three tabs, or as I mentioned, hide them if you don't need them all. Next, we move down to the button. So this is the Learn More button here. Customize the button text. You can choose the page that it links to or add a URL in here directly. Again, a ton of styling settings. So change the font on desktop and mobile, adjust the line height, all of the padding. If you want it round, the border thickness, margins, and the button style. Much the same thing, like the overall section settings. We have colors down the bottom here. So customize the color of the text, the color of the button, what color it turns when, it ho when the customer hovers over the button, everything like that. Finally, the last block in the section is the actual product block. So as you can see here, I'm showing a massage gun in this section, and so we have the massage gun product here. Here you would come in, choose a product that you want to link to, add a custom image if you don't want the one coming directly from the product, change the text, the product description, and the link. So this would generally be the product page or where the customer can go to check out the product. Finally, and most importantly, we have these positioning options. So as you can see here, the hotspot is hovering over the massage gun. But if the massage gun was lying on the floor or in another part of the image, the hotspot would be in the wrong place. So here you have these 0 to 100% positioning settings. And so what you can do is drag these to move the hotspot on the page. So right now we want it 26% vertical on desktop and mobile, and we want it 31% horizontal, so 31% in from the left-hand side of the image. This is how you position the hotspot, and you can add it anywhere on the image, so it's super dynamic depending on what you upload. Down the bottom, two small additional styling settings. The main one is open hotspot, so if you want this to appear by default when the customer lands on the page, or if you turn it off, they'll actually have to click on the hotspot to see this information about the product. Once you've gone through and made all these customizations, you can preview it on desktop and mobile to make sure it's looking good and the hotspot's in the correct position, and then head up to the top right corner and hit save. And there you have it. In just a couple of minutes, you've set up a hotspot section just like these examples here in your Shopify theme. These three examples show how customizable the section is. As you can see, these all look completely different from one another, but they're all the exact same section, just customized differently within the theme editor. This is a great section to add a really sort of premium vibe to your theme or give something the customers can interact with, which should increase conversions. It used to be really difficult to add this, but as you can see, you can do it now in a couple of minutes for less than $10 and you own the section forever. If you have any questions about this section specifically or any of our other sections, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, keep an eye on both this channel and the app because we release multiple sections like this every single week.